A lot to do on a busy afternoon. We're just getting ourselves started on a huge day. I want to make sure I clear this up first, if I can get this on here, as far as the whole scenario goes, as far as yesterday is concerned, with our little buddy Brad Stevens, as we begin the second aspect of our program here today and the city of Boston. Uh, Number one, let's say this. um, Uh... Uh, with Stevens with the votes, with the coaches you know, that we talked about yesterday, that is a coach's vote for coach of the year. And we all were wondering all day yesterday how Stevens only got, did not get a vote. Now, you know, obviously Casey won seven other coaches, which is a sin. Rivers, Quinn Snyder, Popovich, uh, Nate McMillan, Seven other coaches got votes. Stevens did not get a vote. Brett Brown got one. And we were all puzzled by that. Well, Stevens, after Philadelphia, after Boston polished off Philadelphia yesterday in game five in what was a very good game, we thought the Sixers would show up. 114-112. They should have won Philadelphia. And Boston wins by a basket. Uh, Here's what Stevens said after the game. And this is why Stevens is Stevens. And this is why I, I don't see how you don't think he might be the best coach basketball coach in the sport college of the nba the way that thing the way that thing works is you get one vote i looked at the sheet and there's no way that i would have voted for me over any of the other 29 people that the guy that should have won got it now this is a guy you know why he's so good because he hates the fact he's getting so much credit right now. You see the post game yesterday with, with Tatum? Every question to him was about Stevens. And what Tatum said is that he's uncanny about putting this player in the proper spot. Every question. And that's the last thing Stevens wants. Stevens just wants to coach the basketball team and let's play the game, deal with the media as he has to deal with the media, and let the players get the credit. And that's why, that's another reason why it's not about him. And that's another reason why the guy's just a tremendous coach. And let's be honest. Uh, he, not only did he outcoach Brett Brown, he made him look like an amateur in this five-game series. Now, uh, the way I would explain that is this. The Sixers lost three close games. Close game last night. They lost a close game and a 22-point lead in game two. And they lost an overtime game in game three. So in three close games, in three close games, Brett Brown was not able to win one of them. Now, the first game, Boston, four, game four, Philly. So they kind of washed each other out. Philadelphia played really well in the fourth game. And Stevens' team, after that Buck series, had some carryover, a little momentum, played very well in game one, Sixers a long layoff. The other three games were up for grab games. And Stevens won every single one of them. And you can't sit there and tell me it's all about Tatum. It's all about Horford. It's all about Rogier. It's all about Jalen Brown. And it's all about Marcus Smart. Now, that's a big factor. But the other team's got Redick. The other team's got Ben Simmons. The other team has a bead. The other team's got good players. Very good players. They finished two games behind the Celtics in the regular year. And they obviously finished the year with basically a 20-game winning streak. Uh, th- that other team's a good team. That other team beat Miami in five games while Boston had to beat Milwaukee in seven. Miami and Milwaukee are about equal. So the fact that Stevens beat Brett Brown, you know, to the drum, and he did in this series. He was the MVP of the series. And when you can name your coach as the MVP of the series, that's a problem for the other team's coach. Uh, last night, he got good shots. Game when the game was tight. In game three, he's the one who got a layup with Horford on the basket with the bead playing proper or improper defense while the Celtics, while the Sixers couldn't inbound the ball from half court and threw the ball all over the place. So that is a major issue as far as Philadelphia is concerned in this series. And that is a large reason why they lost. Simmons, you know, can't shoot. That's a major problem, but he played pretty well last night. A bead is a... You know, he's a work in progress. He is very good now. He's going to be great. But, you know, he takes some ill-advised shots. Uh, He's a little haywire at times. He didn't make a big basket when he needed to make a big basket with 10 seconds to go last night, which would have tied it. I mean, a B did not take his team over the hump in these three big games. But I'll tell you what all you need to know. How did Philadelphia play the last 
I don't know, a couple of possessions in game three. How did Philadelphia play the last two seconds last night? First off, they didn't have a timeout left. Secondly, that is the play that they designed after the smart free throw. An inbounds bomb down the left sideline. I mean, as Colin Russo said, I would have rather have seen a half-court heave than that. That was atrocious. Absolutely atrocious. Brett Brown had himself an atrocious NBA playoff series. That's all there is to it. I don't want to hear about inexperience. Okay, Philadelphia's got some exper- got some inexperience. Celtics, though, Tatum's never been in the postseason before. All right, Jalen Brown has not been a big factor in the postseason before. Rozier never played in big spots in the postseason before. It's not like Boston's got Bill Russell on the team. All right, Reddick's played in the postseason. He's on Philadelphia. Uh, Either Sova's played, Bellinini, uh, B- Bellinelli has played. That was a mismatch on the sideline. And again, I think Boston, we all underrated them. They probably topped the bottom. Player by player may have been a little better than the Sixers, but it should not have been a five-game series. What a job Boston did. And as Kevin Lockery said yesterday, and I'll reiterate, that is a dead toss-up against Cleveland. A dead toss-up. 23 after the hour, we continue. Yeah, dog on